Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining again. And if you are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Ketura and I love sharing aspects of my home and the lifestyle with you guys. So guys, we are at this time of year where we are now enjoying our last days of summer and we are actually beginning to feel the wind of seasonal change blowing but yet still it's not quite fall as yet so we are basically in a period of transition season between seasons so how do we go about showing the transition from summer to fall well guys this is what today's video is going to be about if this is something that you are interested in, I invite you to keep watching as I use my small apartment to show you how I transition from summer to fall and how you can too. Thank you for watching. So one of the first things that I'm going to do to transition over to fall is to change out the summer wall art. Here I am bringing in these two landscape prints that I got from HomeSense. These prints are classic and they contain all the beautiful moody colors that make them ideal for fall. Another way in which I am transitioning from summer to fall is by bringing in textured pieces with these cream and black vases also from HomeSense. These vases have a beautiful ribbed pattern to them that causes them to be rich in texture. Bringing the outdoors inside is another way to infuse fall vibes into your space. Here I am doing so by adding these dried branches that I have snipped off from the shrub and adding them to the vases. This simple change adds so much character to the space. Using containers that have the shape of fall related items is another way to bring in fall into your space. Here I have added this bunch of greenery to a pumpkin shaped vase and I am adding it to the console table. Another way to infuse fall into your home is to add textured or cozy throw blankets and the pillows. The throw that I am adding here to the couch is not heavy or thick, but it's not light either, which makes it the perfect transitional piece. And here I am 
anchoring each corner of the sofa with these black woven pillow covers that I got from Amazon. Next, I am still embracing a bit of summer with the addition of these summery pillows from HomeSense. Continuing to mimic the outdoors to the small console table, I am adding this pretty amber colored vase that I got from HomeSense and I, am, I have added some wheat grass and a few bunny tails from Dollaram. To tie in the greens that I have going on in the space, I am now adding this candle next to the vase that I also got from HomeSense. Articles of wood, copper, or bronze are ideal for fall because of their warm undertones. Still bringing in more texture. To the coffee table, I am adding this cream stucco bowl and I am adding some vase fillers to it. Moving on to the kitchen table, I am going to be displaying a fruit arrangement on this cutting board that I'm going to place on the table. To the fruit display, I am now adding some pine cones. Now I am using real fruit for the arrangement because that's all I have on hand right now. But if you were to replicate such an idea, it would be practical to use faux fruit.
Here I am using a basket tray as a backdrop for this simple floral arrangement. The knobby look and feel of this stunning vase brings in more texture of course and I have added some dried flowers and a couple of pumpkin picks. And one final way to usher in fall is with candles. Candles are a timeless and a classic way to cozy up any space. And that, my friends, completes the look. So guys, I pray that you got a little something from the video. If you are just transitioning over to fall or if you are already in full fall mode in terms of your decorating, I hope these ideas will help you in some way. So guys, thank you. Thank you so much. If you stayed up to the end, I thank you so much. I really do appreciate it because it really does make a difference in how the video plays out on YouTube. So thank you so much for staying right up to the end. And as always, I would ask you to give a thumbs up to the video and leave a comment in the comment section to let me know what your thoughts and opinions are about this one. And to those of you who have not yet subscribed, I am asking that you would consider subscribing to the channel and turn on the notification bell. You have to hit it twice so that you will not miss any further uploads. Thank you once again, guys. There's a lot more to come, so please stay tuned. Please do enjoy the rest of the video. Take care of yourselves as always and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!